What's up, y'all? Hey. It's the Coens. Right as you see, my shirt says, Merry, Blessed, and Christmas Obsessed. Yes, I am. Yeah, I think I'm going for Team Naughty. <laughs> All right, Team Naughty. I think I this week's theme is because yes, we have themes. So this week's theme is Santa's workshop, and then by the time we get to the end, you'll kind of understand. Hold on one second, Tasha. Has to talk to them for a quick say. So anyway, yes, this week is Santa's workshop, and we're going to walk you through two trees. So the first tree is a tree that was done by Kali, she did it by herself. She decided that she was going to try to join me and be creative and show her um, her Christmas spirit. So I was very excited. She didn't ask for too much of my help. And she really got into the spirit this year and did a lot to assist with, um, with making this Christmas tree. So, Kali, come on and demonstrate your tree. Okay, here we go. You ready? All right. They're ready to see your tree. Darla, where are you at? Yeah, so, you know, I, I needed my, uh, she my prop. all the way in the house for her. Yeah, I ran all the way in the house. Really just to the garage, but anyway. Okay. So this is tree number one. All right, y'all ready? Drum roll. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have something to say. Okay. So, guys, this is tree number one of nine. I know we said we had eight. But since we made that video, now it is nine. So this is tree one of nine. Okay. Show your creation, Kyle. All right. Here we go. I'm going to turn this around for you guys. This is tree number one right here. Yes, y'all. What y'all think? Come on. Chime in in the comments. It's a no. Take it all in. Let me zoom in for y'all. Okay. It's down here. We have the beard, custom made by me. He's a black gnome, as you can see the nose. Okay, all right. And then, yes, yes, we have the lighted hat with the little ball on the top. Mm-hmm. Now, now, let me pan out to get y'all that. Ah, here we go. That is Mr. Gnome. Yes. So, tree now, one. If anyone would like to know how to make it. Oh, yeah, I can walk you through that process real there, quick. There you go. Now, I didn't name him. Didn't come up with a name for him. Your people can name yeah. him. Yeah. So, if you guys have any idea um, or thoughts on a name, drop them in the comments. And then we'll discuss it. And we'll give them a name. And we'll let you know next week whose name we chose. Okay? So, I'm going to walk you through this. So, what we have here is just a regular Christmas tree right here. Trimmed in white lights up under it. And believe it or not, these are white plastic trash bags that I cut. A whole lot of trash bags, as you can see. And then we took a piece of wire, no, nope, took a piece of wire to tie all my trash bags to the, and then we took a styrofoam ball, which is right here, and cover it with a brown sock so it can give us our black nose, our black Santa. And then the top part, I took, this is all deco mesh. And up under it, I took another set of lights, the colored lights, and wrapped it around. And I also used a different type of technique where it wasn't so much around, where I pushed it in and out. And then I wrapped it. And then I just used a real big ball. And what did you name his hat? What was the name of the material you used for the hat? I said it was deco mesh. Was that right? Yeah. All right. Yep. So I used the deco mesh. And. Chevy said his name is Chevy. <laughs> I don't think he looks like a Chevy. <laughs> your beard looks like your Chevy. Yeah, he does. His beard looks like your Chevy. So now we're going to go ahead and. Wait, Darla no? just joined, so pan out so she can see. Oh, okay. There you go, right here. Oh, okay, yes, Darla, you are finally on. Ten minutes late after you told me I was late, but 
It's all good. I'm glad to have you. Side view. And let you guys can kind of see the inflatable sand. I didn't make him, but uh, that's the known. And uh, what we're doing, uh, we are asking for uh, suggestions for names, and then we're going to announce the name that we choose next week during our next tree reveal. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead. And now we are going to go oh. to our second tree. That's right. And remember, the theme is Santa's Workshop. So got a little light right here. I remember I told y'all our theme. Our theme was Santa's Workshop. So as you see, the first tree was a craft tree. Now we're getting ready to enter into our room here. And uh, notice our on-air sign. So, you know, we know when one of us is live and on camera. And this is the tree, number two, for reveal number one. This is our office tree. This is called a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, let me zoom in here. Let you guys pan out. Okay, so that's the full length of that tree. So come around. Okay. So the idea behind pencil trees to make them look a little fuller is to use ribbon um, and to use larger and smaller um, ornaments. So we've done that. Um, this is all wire that's cut by hand. Um, I did, I just went to Michael's and got, you know, a lot of different um, foliage to go up the top to make the top. And the idea behind this tree is that it is a green and gold tree to match the green and gold office. So that was um, why we did the, the green and gold. Also, um, we went to Columbia and when we were in Columbia, you go that way. When we were in Columbia, we saw these doors. And so these doors were the inspiration for the colors in our office, hence the colors of our trees. And so as you'll notice, as she said, all the different colors here in the room and Columbia being the inspiration. And we had a magnificent time. So if you guys want to go make sure you hit Tasha up uh that's when we went for like two weeks and she can show you how to do it and you can also go to Panama and feed the monkeys like we did if you want to do that too so now let's get to now anybody got anything to say any questions about this particular tree because at the end we're going to want y'all to tell us what's your best tree and we also would like for you to tell us so far as of tonight what tree you like best and every tree let me just say every tree has something that represents our family so you know you guys know that i love i'm i'm a girly girl so i have my little heel on there and we get our decorations from just about everywhere um so our trees are we build on them and we get new things every year so this tree will look even more different next year even more full. So the idea behind a tree is that you start off with some things and then each year you add to it and you build and build and build so that maybe within three years, your tree is gonna look exactly the way you want it if you don't wanna spend a lot of money at one time. We have nine trees, so we're not gonna to try to throw a lot of money at nine different trees. So we build upon them every year. That's my tip for the day. All right, now. Cocktail oh, time. Cocktail time. So now we got our team naughty we got our team nice and we got our team naughty and nice so you know if you fall under one or both then you know go ahead and make these drinks with us because we're gonna get into that i hope everybody got their ingredients if you don't have your ingredients it's okay all right it's all right just act like you got it chime in we'll let you know how it tastes and then go out and get it tomorrow or next week and then after this live i'm going to drop the ingredients for next week's which is going to be on sunday it's going to be next week is going to be on sunday um not this coming sunday the following sunday the 10th eight o'clock all right so let's start with the cocktail okay 
nah, how about the mocktail first? Uh, you know, that's kind of like getting sober after you. So let's start with the mocktail. Okay. So, first of all, we have uh, these nice little balls of ice. Cubes. Cubes. And in our ice, we froze rosemary and cranberries. So see if cubes. you guys can see it here. Okay. So it's nice little festive right in there. And then we have special guests in the house too. So they might not want to be seen. So, but I'm going to let special guests. I'll help out with the cocktail. Okay. Thank you. All right. This is my sister from the same mister. And so <laughs> there we go. No. <laughs> we got studio guests here, y'all. We fancy. We fancy. Okay. Okay. So for and the mocktail, you grab your ice. All right. Now, while she's doing that, pouring the cranberry, I just want to tell y'all if y'all want to get these nice, cute little ice cube thingies, you can get it from like Home Goods. I don't know uh, what is it. All the little fancy places you can get them. Make your little square ice cubes. Very festive for the holidays. All right, so we're going to start off with our pomegranate juice, and this came from Kirkland's. All right. You guys notice that I don't have ice in mine. If you know me, you know why okay. I don't have ice in my drink. Okay. We Next. have um, a... Now, it calls for a particular amount. I say two ounces of everything, but, you know... If... You know how your grandma used to say in the kitchen, just eyeball it. You know, you know how you like your stuff. Just eyeball it, you know. Um, so this one has we made or I made um a rosemary simple syrup. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was it's equal parts sugar, equal parts water, and some rosemary sprigs, and it really, really tastes delicious. So we're gonna add that. Today. And then we top it off with some lemon lime soda, Sprite Seven Up. Oh, you put pomegranate in mine, didn't you? Well, I bought up some cranberry juice. So for those of you that don't necessarily like pomegranate, you can use some cranberry juice. But she was a little fast, so I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. You figure out which one works. Break up. <laughs> Here you go. Pomegranate. Thank you. All right, guys, whoever's trying this mocktail, let's see what it's... Cheers! That's excellent. Wow. Oh, this is good. That is yes. excellent. This is really good. <laughs> this so, is, yes, winner. Let me show y'all what this looks like right here. Okay? Oh. So this would work for, like, Christmas brunch, um, Christmas breakfast, people who don't drink, obviously, right? Um, you can even make this for the kids. Absolutely. And, they and feel and, and, and put it in a fancy glass. They are participating. There you go, right there. Oh, this is nice. This is smooth. I like this. is very good. I will be doing this. Yes, indeed. I love this. So this is going to be a signature drink in the house. Definitely. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And guys, when you make the res, when you make the... um. The simple syrup, the rosemary simple syrup, taste it to make sure that you have enough rosemary flavor. Did it you, seeps in really well. Did you well. tell them how you did it? Actually, okay, all right, okay, all right, guys. Now it's time for our cocktail. Keeping it with the theme, as you saw the original glasses, you know, were nice, clear. So since our theme was, you know, partridge, pear tree, gold, we're gonna do the gold glasses for this one. All right, and also. Since we're using Crown, it's a whiskey, you know, a nice round ball works well for your nice whiskey drink, okay? So you can get the square or you can get the round silicone drinks. Well, like, why you want to start cooking? There you go. All right. All right. All right. So we are going to start off with our pear nectar. Okay. Make sure you shake this very well because... Um, it's thick. Now, I'm gonna make sure that you shake it up. Now, a lot of people was asking where exactly you could find this. So you want to go to your international uh, foods aisle in your grocery store, and then you can uh, 
find it there. So for me, guys, I can't have ice, so my drinks taste a little bit different. So I make mine. I make mine a little bit sweeter just because I can't um I need to to make it taste better because it's warm. All right, well, now we're going in with the crown. I'm going to turn it a little bit more light just to give us a little light here. Better? Excuse me. I'm free balling. Okay. <laughs> she said I was saying. saying. I'm free balling. Now, for those of you that are joining us, these drinks we're testing out with you for the very first time. We don't know how they're going to taste, but they go with the theme of our trade. Now, and this crown right here, so this is crown. This is vanilla. So you can use any kind that you want. Yeah, she said free balling, right? Oh, Devon, you said you couldn't see. Y'all can see us now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I look at how I look. Look, all right. Let me see. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hey, I got to make sure they can see me. They couldn't see me before. Father. All right, so now we have the, we have the pear nectar. We have the crown. We have the ice. Um, we have the ice. And now we're going to top it off with some ginger ale. Okay. Thank wait, 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 wait. No, See, you jumped like oh, oh, that's right. Wait, wait a minute. Come on a little closer to the camera here. Let's, hey, let me. And because, yeah. and because we're being a little fancy. Can you, okay, can you got our it? pear and our sugar here for you guys. Okay. Drop it. All right. Thank you. So what I did was I, I put the, um, I coated the pears, the pear slices and sugar that I have already sitting on this plate. Y'all now for my desk. Okay. We're going to be fancy because I'm going to brulee this sugar. Why are you doing it on my side instead of your side? And if you have a little torch and you know, you know. Okay. Here, let me hold that so the people can see. Can y'all see? Come on, move. I don't want to burn myself. I don't. Well, I don't want you to burn yourself either because we're not going to the hospital today. And brulee means you're just burning the sugar. Not working out too well, but. Oh, whatever. it's in there. It's in there. Okay, so y'all yeah, can kind of see the sugar. Burn it should be darker. All right, well, that was a doctor. So we put a slice of pear on top for decoration. And now we drink up. All right. To the partridge in the pear tree, y'all. Let's see. Y'all drinking with us? Come on. Come on. Who else is drinking? Oh, this is delicious, too. Oh, we've been had that torch, you know. What'd you say? Devon said, I was just torch. about to say, do not burn yourself. <laughs> yes, daughter, I'm not. Yeah, not, because I'm not taking it to the hospital today. <laughs> this is delicious. I love it. What do you think? Oh, I like it. Yeah. This is another like keeper. <laughs> so, I, so our last time that we did our tree demonstration, a we did have some tree. Like, we did have some drinks we didn't like. But this like, is the winner. Who remembers the sweetest fish that we did? <laughs> that drink was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, glad that y'all could be with us. Let's pan to the tree one more time. Um, no, it's on the stand. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see what we can do. There she goes. Partridge in a pear tree, guys. Next week, when we show our next two trees, they will again graduate in difficulty. <laughs> so you're going to see some things that hopefully you haven't seen before. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> Devon said, make a drink and bring it over to the sick and shut in. <laughs> I got you, girl. I got we you. on our way. <laughs> We're on our way. Got you. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. I hope that you join us next week. Um, Any comments before she signs off? Anything y'all want to say? Don't forget, name the tree. Partridge in a pear tree, but we need to name Mr. Gnome. The gnome. Okay. We need to name him. Also, um, for the 10th. For the 10th. We're going to do a Christmas trivia, and we're going to give away a prize, just like we did. Um, year before last when we did our 
tree trivia. Yeah. But you have to be live. You have to be live. live. So y'all can't uh, watch the replay and, and then answer the question. And then answer the question and think you're going to win. Because y'all ain't going to win. All right? <laughs> you got to be live. It's like join in. So. So um, thank you all for joining us. Elaine Wild, my sister, came thank all you. the way from Virginia. <laughs> and she's sitting here with us. Thank and she's for the cocktails. And enjoying the well. festivities. All right. And we will see y'all next week. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> As Lottie would say. <laughs>